All right, uh, I'd like to call uh, this meeting of the South County Senior Center Board of Oversight to order. Um, uh, everybody knows our meeting guidelines, and we have a new person here. Yes. Forward, so, all right, go to contact. Yes. No, no biting anybody. Um, try to be concise and effective. Uh, the members present are everybody Dan, Trevor, Joyce, and Jen. Um, uh, we've got four discussion items, and I think the first few can be pretty quickly, and we'll spend most of our time on the fourth one, I think. Um, uh, however, our remaining time is. Um, I'm going to accept the motion on the draft minutes from the last meeting. Second that motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, great. Um, the feasibility study update. Um, so I emailed to everyone a copy of the uh, EDM studio presentation. Yes, you can Sorry, I just sure. um, got to pull it up. So it goes over their scope of work and all the details. Um, unfortunately, um, EDM was also most of their staff was going on vacation this week like me. Mm -hmm. So they were unavailable to come today. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe, Trevor, you can speak to this. The Deerfield Select Board voted to accept the proposal on Wednesday yep. um, during the meeting. So um, I didn't have a chance to read over everything because we had our picnic, grant deadlines, end of fiscal year, and some other things. So um, I would ask for you to please look at that. And we're going to um, you know, get in touch with them to provide all of the assessment the needs assessments we've already done, all the statistical data, all the information um, that they want, you know, uh, Part of the major piece, I think, will be knowing our programming inside and out because Absolutely. they'll be able to be um, there. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be able to determine the space value to the best fit of our programming with mm -hmm. what they know. So um, right. the other thing, too, is to make sure that we engage with the community, which is really important, mm -hmm. um, you know, that everyone feels like they have a voice in the process. And yeah. they're um, this is the time. This is, you know, they've talked about that in here. Um, one of the other companies or the other uh, companies proposed, you know, design charrettes. And I think that's really important, um, you know, to have that in community engagement, whether, you know, we, I want to plan them in all the towns, at least one each, and then, um, you know, maybe have a fourth one online for people who can't make it for whatever reason and want to have accessibility that way. Um, you know, there's also the concern that I have of being able to engage folks that um, may not, uh, excuse me, always come to every single event, but, you know, they come for, for a variety of things. Um, because, you know, as, as, as we're increasing membership so far this year, we've increased 65 members. Um, so we're building our membership regularly. Um, even with the change of locations, we've still been getting interest in new people attending. So um, I just see the center really just expanding. So mm -hmm. we want to listen to younger, older adults mm -hmm. to see what they're interested in. Um, you know, so um, hitting that up is going to be really important. It seemed like yeah. Doug, Doug was a Doug, right? From the, the guy who's going to kind of do a lot of the assessment part of it, uh, the initial that. part. Um, he was just really impressive in that. Seems like he has a wealth of knowledge and really knew how centers work and could really kind of zero in on what the yeah. programs are and then, okay, what do we need for space? And is this enough? Do you need more? Where else could we go? That yep. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, him and his wife are the designers that partner with EDM right. and they have degree. She has a degree in gerontology. He has a certificate in gerontology. Um, you know, and so they understand the whole entire process, the concept behind moving forward and all of the details, which is really key mm -hmm. um, to what we're looking at. Now, I think the other piece is, is that, you know, they know the restraints um, on the cost and all of those other pieces, which are really important to know. So um, I think I think that they're really going to work out well because mm -hmm. their presentation They've done the Hadley Senior Center and a multitude of other senior centers, um, and everybody raves about Hadley. And, yeah. and I understand that we may not get a larger scale place, but, um, you know, at least initially. But I think it's it's really important to know that 
the numbers of older adults in our community is not going to decrease. It's only going to increase yep. and more and more people are looking to stay in their homes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So giving them resources, activities and other social um, avenues is really important to keeping mm -hmm. people healthy and moving mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Um, so, you know, on that piece there. So, um, okay. so uh, this is kind of something new. It only came up in the last day or two. Mm -hmm. And I think I emailed Trevor a little bit about this. Um, it says that they're um, study up to three independent sites and includes uh, the Congo Church and the Oxford Press Building. I, we have a new town administrator. The new town administrator is kind of new ideas and new perspectives. Yes. And yes. our new town administrator is like, hmm, you know, that warehouse we have behind our town offices, could that be a community center? Mm. Could that be something? I'm like, hey, there's a food ability study. Yes. Um, Why not? And I'm wondering in. if we would consider um, recommending they look at that. And he's talking about, I mean, right now it's a warehouse. It doesn't right. have much in the way of windows. Yeah. Um, he's, he says, well, you can put windows in. Sure. You can, uh, I mean, yeah. those are all, oh, at, yeah. they're at a cost. Though. Right. And what, what I like about the feasibility study, if it's these three sites, the Congo Church is so an old building that's being refurbished. Mm -hmm. We've got a new building, new mm -hmm. construction that's yep. relatively easy to um, to change. And then we've got this sort of shell. That could be anything. That could be anything. And it has a loading dock, which... Right. Um, Hey, you know, at first, Pete says, oh, we could like get rid of those garage doors. I'm like, no. Right. Yeah, we, 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 the loading we, dock would be great because. Come in. Yes. Food and, That's right. Um, and he was uh, also th thinking uh, also of a larger community center, which is what we've also been doing right. as well. Right. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we would consider throwing that in or um, if there are other locations that are on the table that are not listed here. It was open, so because, nobody knew what nobody, the third yeah, one. Third and no. so I think that I think that'd be great. I think there's it, not a third one already. There is not. No, a third there one. isn't. There, there is a. Maybe can somebody come up with one, and that's a great idea. I think that's great um, because you know, I think you had mentioned. You know, we had talked briefly about it in passing at one yeah. point as a potential space, but I know that there was some renovations potentially going on in your in the town yeah. of Waitley. Yeah, yeah. And like at the time with, with Brian. Um, who I think he didn't have yet like a complete map of what they really needed the town offices. Yeah. They refurbished it, they just have a meeting room, Got they've it. expanded the office space, that's all taken care of. Nice. So they kind of know what their footprint is. Yeah. Um, there is some space in that warehouse that's going to be dedicated to, um, to batteries for the solar mm -hmm. that's going on the roof, Got but it. that's kind of been the utility. Do we know area. what the square footage of the space is? I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. Um, uh, it's big, though. Mm -hmm. um, I would guess comparable to the Oxford building. But that's, I mean, in terms of square. Right. Feet. But then once you divide it up, the walls. And that's space. in the back of your. Yeah, it's it's basically the, the, the book warehouse, the library. Oh, I don't there. think I realized that there was a big enough, that big of space. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be perfect to add, you know, yeah, um, I, I don't think people would complain about the travel because it's literally right around the corner from there, South huh? Deerfield. Um, once you yeah. get Thetic to allow us to run that road right through there. <laughs> oh, like is that going to happen in my life? Yes, it is. Chris is on it. He oh. is on it, and I'm pressuring. Which Chris? Chris Christopher Dunn. Dunn. Okay. Yes. We, the one still. We, the, the one we, we still have. We, still have. <laughs> we we also um one of the great things about that is you have ample parking. Yes. You know, which yes. is really yeah. key. Yes. Um, because one of the yeah. components that EDM talked about, and I think is really essential. Yeah. Um, because when I met Pete on. Wednesday at yeah. the picnic in person. I, I've talked yeah. to him over the computer, but um, you know, he talked about the center school, and I said, "Yeah, that's not going to work." Yeah. I said, "The location be dangerous, and there's not enough parking space." And there's not a space inside. I've never like, been in, so I it's couldn't a, speak. It's, like, a, it's, a, it's at best school. it has the same area as yeah. Oh yeah, and it's divided up too, so it's yeah, yeah it's not yeah. that big. It's yeah. um, there's like two classrooms on one floor. Oh. And bats in the attic. Right. Oh, so like our old space. space. Right, exactly. Like our old space. <laughs> it, it, it would not be going enough. back to the old space. But I think adding, I think adding that in for a third location would be good. I mean, because we don't. I mean, we, we should include all three towns. I think it's a yeah. great idea. Love, yeah. Love to have that. 
Right. Yeah. And I don't think it needs to be written. Does no. it need to be voted be, on? But maybe if we so. they if know we that they're the gonna... vote that we recommend. Yeah, yeah make a vote and be, uh, we can send a letter to uh well obviously to Casey yeah. and to they're looking the other to boards find that might be find great. spaces. Um, yeah. I make a motion to add the Waitley Town Hall to the town offices. Town offices to the um to the list of third op options to look at for the South County Senior Center. Sure. Okay. Um, well, any further discussion? No. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Aye. Thank you. Great. That's great. great. Thanks option. for bringing that forward. I think it's great. Yep. It's wonderful. All three towns are included, which I think is really important. Absolutely. Okay, updates from me. Um, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, we've increased membership so far this year to 65 individuals. Which is good. We were sh we weren't sure if we'd be up to sixty five or up by sixty five. Up by sixty five, okay. just for this year only. Okay, just um, uh, January through June. Yeah, let okay. me get you. Hold on, I'm not going to give you the average daily attendance because I don't think our um, information from this last week is up to date. So I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, the staff has been. Oh, doing other things. End of year. <laughs> we had our newsletter go out this. To print on uh for Tuesday or Tuesday, so it could be ready for Wednesday morning for the picnic. Then they stuffed envelopes and got everything done with wonderful volunteers on Thursday to get that out. Um, we also had the picnic all day on Wednesday, in addition to enhanced fitness in the morning. And then um <laughs> we had uh regular programming going on here Monday, Tuesday. Um, and then enhanced fitness over at Wheatley Wednesday morning, the picnic all day Wednesday. Um, and then yesterday we had programming as well. And then uh, yesterday was also uh, the warrant end of year stuff and grant mm -hmm. deadlines for some grants. So we've been a little busy this yeah. week. <laughs> um, no, it's more important that the numbers be accurate than yeah. they be just provide it. So I just wanted to, but I, I think it's important to share about, you know, the increase for the year, which is, mm -hmm. which is really important. I think at the end of last year, we were, we were at 407. So add 65. I'm not into doing math today. So was that, was that the picnic I talked to, uh, it's 472. Kristen mm -hmm. Conklin. She's, um, she's a police officer in Conway and she's been talking about wanting to get, you know, Conway folks involved as much as she can. Do. Yeah. I don't know what else she does there, but she talked like she was really trying to. She was great. Like she just asked, what do you need? And at one point she goes, did you eat? Yeah. I go, no. She goes, what do you want? And I go, really? She went and got me a plate of food and I sat down and ate. Wonderful. First but time and my son played soccer together for a bit. Just knew the person. need for everything. And I was like, wow, this yeah. is, this is great. You know, but, but she did talk about wanting to See if we could, right. she could get more seniors from Conway involved. Yeah. Uh, ongoing, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I think the Conway COAs does not want to, um, does not want to join. They don't, they, um, they are really adamant about continuing programs in their location, which I fully support, you know, sure. in their community. Yeah, I think that's they? only fair. Like we do that that's here. Right. We try to go around to all three towns um if they falsely think like if they did that they'd have to end everything they're doing i mean it seems like it's it's been um i have unfortunately i don't know if it's miscommunication um i have shared all my intents and everything else but even with one of the grants that we're working with um it's almost as if they don't have full control over everything they're not open to mm to sharing or working in that capacity, unfortunately. Well, so I don't know, okay. um, yeah. you know, that could potentially change, yep. yeah. but you know, we've still been supporting with the still hybrid open. grant. Um, we were able to, you know, facilitate the purchase of the iPads and stuff. She's just, she, oh, checking out. she's looking at Joyce's. Like you know. can't yeah, have any I promise, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, so, but I, you know, so we've been supporting with the iPads, um, the different classes, you know, all of our classes are open up to everyone. Um, yeah. So, you know, that's one of the things. Oh, do you need some napkins? I've got some over here. Okay. Um, the other cool thing is, um, oh, now you're going to look around. No, you can't eat anything. The other cool thing is, is we, um, 
I emailed you all about the two grants that we are going to get as long as the this governor's budget gets sent through and everything else. Mm -hmm. Um she she is also oh I'm good. I'm not having any, but thank oh, you. Okay. Um the sorry, now I'm getting distracted. All right. Who does that to you? Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's just too many movements. So the governor's budget inc incorporates not only the grant funding that we're going to get through MCOA through the service incentive grant. As I mentioned in the last meeting, I did not put in for the outreach money because it was only listed as $10,000. So I wasn't sure if there was another opportunity coming forward. However, out of the funds we are getting out of the two grants, there are no matching funds needed. So the first, the first is $20,000 to do um, an expanded needs assessment that we did initially with UMass in 21 to 22. We're going to expand to incorporate dementia friendly, and we also are going to engage with the community more um, to not just include the seniors, but businesses mm -hmm. and other organizations in all of the three towns. So, you know, including the restaurants, including um, little markets, including um, you know, the banks and, and any other entities within the three towns that who are interested, because I think it's making sure the community is aware of, you know, what a person with dementia may look like coming into your facility, right. if there's confusion. Yes. Yeah. And then, you know, what assistance is available mm -hmm. and also, you know, incorporate um, our first responders for some of that input. Yeah. Um, so the previous one was focusing on the age friend, uh, the age friendly needs assessment, mm -hmm. which is great, but sure. we need to expand more a little bit into the dementia yeah. friendly mm -hmm. as we um, go forward. Um, I think we've gotten a lot of great data previously. Um, you know, we we received over thirteen hundred responses out of over thirty three hundred seniors, so that's a decent response rate at the time. But I think we could engage more, especially now that. I think South County Senior Center has more visibility, like the things that you've been doing and it's been talked about and they, you know, more people are joining and they're telling their family about maybe more people would participate yeah. you know, than before. That, that's our goal. And the other, the other grant is for $7,500 to increase our visibility. Right. So, yeah. um, so that particular grant, the $7,500, I'm going to kind of push more towards Chris, uh, his background is communications. He used to be a reporter. So, you know, it, it, a couple different, um, papers or, um, so, you know, he has that experience with, yeah. with writing. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, you know, so we'll be able to utilize some of that grant for his salary, um, okay. in addition. So we, we're not just, um, focusing on the formula and the operations. And then we also have the mass in motion, uh, fund that we're, we are getting, um, I spoke with Rachel Stoller yesterday. She's in the process of getting our contract um, in the paperwork for, for this year's contract moving forward. That's through the FERCOG? Yeah, that's yeah. through FERCOG. That was the one I was working on getting all of yeah. the stuff to yesterday. So that's $12,690 because the three towns pooled their money together to allow me, um, you know, to focus on the different needs. Um, because they're not just senior needs, they're also community needs. Mm -hmm. So we we open up the discussion to anyone in the community who wants to engage. Um, we focused on transportation. We focused on food insecurity, um, you know, and trying to advertise to people that we offer the SNAP program if they need assistance. Um, because while the Amherst Survival Center isn't too far from here, not everyone has the ability to get there. Mm -hmm. So we can, you know, meet with people at different locations um, and, you know, we try to make that more accessible, yeah. um, and housing is, is ever increasing of an, a yeah. major issue well, there here. Is a, um, I, I had lunch with Natalie and Joe yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. there, the bill, the bill there, it's going to be $5 billion. Uh, and they're focusing a lot on rural with, and, and, um, and affordable senior housing. So, and they're really pushing um, you know, we were hoping to have a shovel ready to project for some some senior housing, uh, but th there's going to be a major push coming. I think that that's going to get passed pretty quick, and okay. so I think there's going to be some need. Youth is huge. Absolutely. Anybody buy right and pull in the youth. Right. Yeah, that's huge. For sure. For sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Deerfield just passed this last year that they were doing that they could allow accessible Mm -hmm. or um, because some, you know, the accessory units up to 900 square feet, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because I don't think people realize we have a homeless problem in our community. Even if you don't, don't see it, it, it's here. You see it in Greenfield a lot, but you don't we really see it's it here. In bigger places, but right. it's, just, but it's still here. We have it here. Yeah. You know, I've worked with at least three individuals. Um, you know, even if they have a house, it's in horrible condition. Oh, yeah. There's people who need new roofs, yeah, the roof. who need um all sorts of stuff. So um sorry, I just yeah. want to make sure nobody was in the waiting room. Yeah. Um so, you know, people, people are struggling, mm-hmm. um, you know, while I think, I think the real estate market really changed after COVID, mm-hmm. um, people started flocking out of the cities and droves and going to the rural areas. Yeah. So we've lost our market availability. Right. Right. Um, and then those who are buying up the property are doubling the rent yeah. is what I've heard from some folks mm-hmm. who are like, what am I supposed to do? I can't afford this. Right. So we send them, you know, to the resources we have, but the wait list for shelters um, are mostly family shelters. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's, you know, they've now enacted a, a law where it's only a nine month wait list wait. Mm-hmm. So, um, but anyways, yeah, only. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah we, know that you're allowed to stay on in this program only nine months. Oh, you're only oh, only in, allowed in, to be in the program for nine yeah, months. Basically, nine months to sort out. Yeah, yeah. where you've got to be. If you can, right. If, and while there's money to help with first, last, and security, there's no open places. Right. And um, the the lieutenant governor was at the MCOA conference in October, um, and I asked the question about you know is the administration looking to cap rent. Because, you know, if we could do that, then we'd be able to, she says, no, there, well, it wasn't a direct, no, it was, we're not looking to do anything to deter building or people coming into the community to purchase and stuff. But, you know, it was kind of in a roundabout, no, um, that Mm -hmm. they're not looking to do that. So So um, more and more expensive, the building share too. I mean, it, it, it's all smart stuff for the, but at some point, if you, if you just allow enough more new building, then the, Rents will be more competitive, right? Yep. And you're right. We've got to introduce competitive competition. Yeah, oh, 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 yep. oh, you flex my right. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe yeah. like, maybe crazy. Yeah. You probably don't know about that. Yeah. No, but those are great suggestions. And I think to, bringing them yeah. into the community, you know, it's, something's got to give. Yeah. We don't have enough. I mean, and then um, I don't know if you're all familiar with yesterday, SCOTUS made a rule that you can now be prosecuted for being homeless. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's yeah. really just well, the world yeah. Thing is, yep. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So world now world now people are going to in obviously Massachusetts is a lot more forgiving, but in other states, you know, people are gonna be put in jail. Well, at least they'll have a bed. Yeah, a roof over their head, three hots and a cot. But what do you think? That's why they go to jail. Yep. That's why they cause a crime because they want they need a place to stay. Yeah. But it's not the solution. Not no, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Nope. Right. So well, we're getting older. Than sorry. Um, sure. um I know. I was going back. back. Thank you. Um, other updates. So the two grants, twenty thousand seven seventy five hundred. I have not received the tangible letter with all the details about the van that we received. Mm-hmm. Um, so we did get the van. Um I don't, I don't have the actual no, van it's yet. coming. Right. Yeah. It's gonna be a while. Sure. I thought it was twenty 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 or twenty five, but I think it's twenty six from all the stuff I was reading on the website. Okay. Although on a conference call it said June of twenty five, so no. give or take. So oh, yeah. when I get the affirmative information, yeah. I will pass that along. Okay. Um. The well, glad we got it. Eh? The annual picnic was a success on Wednesday. Uh. Yeah. Thank you. I love seeing all the volunteers. There were so many. People oh, there helping. we could not do it without them. It was wonderful. They do an amazing job. Um, you know, we have the Franklin County Sheriff's uh, triad oh, yeah. do the cooking. Yeah. They yeah. brought all the food. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of side dishes from Eagle Brook and Deerfield Academy. Nice. Um, triad, South County Triad volunteers. Yeah. You know, they also um, got ordered cookies through the jail. Um, and then we had ice cream that we had purchased. And then um, the Memorial Day Committee from South Deerfield had leftover ice cream sandwiches that they had donated to us before. With our capacity, with our with our new freezer, we can host all that stuff. So That's great. We're able to do that. Um, great band. Yeah, great TJ band. and the Peepers. Yep. The yep. only complaint that we received 
was the music was too loud. Uh, well, at a you senior event, that, that's probably that. yes. I'm getting that all the time, so <laughs> don't worry about. So that. the only <laughs> thing, uh, well, that's the okay, that's the only. Complaint. Yep, that's the only complaint. Very, it was very successful. It's, it's, yeah. 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 So, so, um, so that was great. Volunteers, we could not do this without them. Otherwise, I'd be like, can I have more staff? Like yeah. five of us, right. six because there's no way we could do that. Um, yeah. The other thing I did want to mention is um, the events being moved, um, even though we had initial complaints before people started going to the Wheatley Town Hall, everybody who complained has been going to the enhanced fitness class. Right. So that's been successful. Good. Good. Um, so we're happy with that. Uh, the space, you know, staff and volunteer setup has been doing great. Neil's been really Any helpful. feedback from the church? Um, actually, I was just about to get to that. Oh. Um, so the church, the only congestion issue is traffic or like parking. Um, so what? The, the no, no, the yeah. church, the South, oh, or the oh, Southern, oh. what? I was wondering about the South Deerfield family church. Did, the they, Catholic church that did they say already. anything since we left or have, has there been any blowback or is there? Um, not to, to me directly. You know, some seniors weren't, a few seniors weren't happy about it. Yeah. Um, but they were more unhappy with the church than they were with us. Oh. They understood why, why we were doing yeah. what we were doing. Well, each had their own um, and they were disappointed with the church's stance. Okay. And unfortunately, I did have a, a couple seniors tell me that, um, you know, some comments were made from the pulpit um, yeah. that we wouldn't come back to negotiate, but there's nothing to negotiate. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't. Off, you can't be welcoming yeah. to everyone. So. We have their thing. We have ours. Yep, it's fine. Exactly. We're and, you know, we grateful still grateful for the time we had. They, oh, yeah. It really helped us out in the pinch. And now and, we're on. To yep. something else. And we're welcome. You know, we're open to having anybody, you know, like we still have a lot of people who are parishioners there come to the center. For still, sure. and we're, yeah. we're grateful, you yeah. know, that there's no hard feelings there. Perfect. Um, so that's, that's what I was yeah. That we just separated. And yep. Each, each I think everybody's got everybody's okay, pretty moved on which is great. But you're doing programming over here now. So the, the Sunderland uh, First Congregational Church in Sunderland here on the corner, um, we have our food monthly food pop-up pantry there. Right. Um, you know, so we've had it there. Uh, we had it in, what month are we in? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, well, we had it in June. June was our first one. I'm sorry. Everything's been blending together. We had two events there so far. We did an auction, an auction appraiser, um, the first Wednesday of the month. And then the second Wednesday, we did our uh, pop-up food pantry. The only issue with the pop-up food pantry was the parking. Um, it's a little hard because of where, even though the church has most of the parking, there's some businesses uh, on the parallel and they have overflow, you know, they park in those spaces. So we're going to hopefully do a shuttle system where we have some seniors who either park here or behind those Hunderland Town Hall. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can take the van and shuttle them back and forth mm -hmm. if needed. Or, or healthy. And walk. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. We have mentioned right. if people are healthy enough, they could walk. That'd sure. be great. Yep. Um, volunteers and everything else went off with, you know, without issue. Right. Um, you know, the only, the only negative right now is they don't have air conditioning. So the summer is hot. Oh. So we can't have regular programming there because, yeah. uh, we don't need anyone having any, you know, yeah, yeah. it's great. Right. It's, it, it, we are it, so grateful for them, you know, being available yeah. and yeah. sometimes, you know, for a short notice, but we're definitely doing the second Wednesday of every month consistently. And the other events we'll look at, um, starting in September and October when it gets cooler. Yeah, um, so hopefully it's not as hot. Right. Um, that's the only negative about the space. Everything else has been great. Mm -hmm. Um, they only have one bathroom, just like we only have one bathroom. Yep. So, you know, people have to learn to be a little more tidy patient. and patient with, yeah. Sure. Um, yep. So <laughs> yeah, that's an issue here. And that's actually something I was going to bring up at some point. We may need to increase our amount of um, janitorial services here to twice a week instead of once a week. Okay. Um, okay. So that makes more sense. Yeah. Yes. Makes sense. Yeah. So, um, I just wanted to share that. And that would come from the appropriated funds for programming space, okay. just like what right. we're paying for over there. It's $75 if we're not using the full kitchen yeah. equipment. So that's, that's totally doable. For sure. Um, so we're really grateful for that. Right. Um, what else? Um, staff's been doing really well. Uh, everybody's been working together. No issues there. So everybody, you know, Tom just, uh, 
met his six month uh, anniversary in June. So Good. we're happy. Um, he yeah, seemed to enjoy it. He likes it. We like having Tom. Big so guy. yeah, he's yeah. Like he... a football player or something. <laughs> just like I don't know. I don't know about that. Strong guy. Um, but you know, it's like he can move some furniture for you if you need. Yeah, uh, he has. So it's been great. Um, you know, and we've been looking at. You know, we've reconfigured the floor plan in here a few times. We potentially have a volunteer coming in on the eighth of July to um, help with the um, craft. with the arts and crafts section and some other things because that's like the only thing that looks like it's exploded in here. Right. <laughs> um, right. And I think pretty much that's it. Um, financially, you know, we look. We're going to carry forward some money. Um, you know, we we had twenty six thousand dollars from fiscal year twenty three to twenty four. We're carrying forward that amount, potentially more. I don't think much more mm -hmm. um, because, uh, you know, we just had to pay out the last for fiscal 24 um, for most of the outstanding bills. Um, so we're looking in pretty good shape. Budget wise, uh, we should be good with rent. I mean, I don't know what we're paying for Waitley. Um, or do we pay? We don't, oh, we don't have to pay for that space. Yeah. So that's, so we have a little bit extra. So, yes. Maybe build up a little bit for when we find a space or... Potentially, yeah. but I was also, um, I know that at the last meeting when I approached about bringing, giving Tom more hours, I know your concern about having someone increased hours based on grant funding. Mm -hmm. However, I'm looking at where we are with the operations account um, and then, you know, where we're at with the grant money because we have the grant money to pay, which will help offset and increase the carryover or carry forward funds from the operations um, plus, we will probably not use the entire fourteen thousand four hundred for the that we had budgeted for this fiscal year for space. But I do want to keep that, you know, because I am using that for the program space wherever we go right. or whatnot. So, um, you know, I am just looking at that. It's just that there are times that we cannot. It's very hard to make it work. We feel like we have so much momentum going. The seniors are asking for more. If we have a day where we're not offering something, they're like, can we do something this day? And it's like, whoa, you went from being nine to 12, you know, and then we were opening some hours and then other days that we weren't normally. So it's just, we're going at a pace that we cannot sustain. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to slow down just a bit. Um, staff and I talked about that. Well, this assessment will help figure out, you know, what you're doing, what you need. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You know. You know, it's, you know, where, where it's, we need to go. To be quite honest, we could continue doing the things that we're doing. It's just that um, with the limitation of Tom to 19 hours, if we had him at 35 hours or even 30 hours, you know, we could we could continue because sometimes with the multiple locations now, yeah, yeah. Tom goes over to the Waitley Town Hall to get ready in the morning for 830. So he's getting here at 815. So he gets over to the Waitley Town Hall, sets up with the volunteers. Some people still like to chat around, even sure. though we try to let them know to become here for that. Um, so he's not getting back here until 1015. Yesterday, he didn't get it back in 10, until 1050 because a volunteer needed to talk to somebody about some stuff. So, yeah. or somebody needed to talk to staff. So, mm -hmm. um, so it's just making it work with, because Chris also not only is here, but Chris also does the transportation. So it's not right. like we have a separate person doing transportation. Right. So we're all trying to do things. And I now have a um, a desk in the basement uh, so I can have some privacy. Right. I, I'm not kidding. Yeah. Because I, Everybody the basement, wants here, to talk and the basement can't, here, can't I can't it. focus. No. Um, and I do have to give a shout out to Sunderland Police Department. Um, hmm. I chief emailed and asked if we had a need for desks so if you look right. over there you'll see one that chris is currently using yeah our dining services person has one right with the top i have one in the basement for my space so you know um there's a fourth nice. one uh we're not sure if we're going to be able to use it um so dpw has it this week mm -hmm. for us yeah so anyways where i was going is just we can't be it everywhere at once yeah and it's too much um so so I, I feel like repurposing money from rent to staff is appropriate given how we're dealing with this space. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I know it's, a, it's well, uh, 
you said something about the, uh, relying on grant funding for personnel. It, I mean, that particular part doesn't sound like it's relying on grants. Mm. Um, but so often, if something, I mean, grants are kind of like, hey, we don't know if this is going to work for some bucks, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And let's try it out. I mean, I've been in grant funded positions myself earlier. In the yeah. Yeah. So uh, you get a grant, it's on works out. Can you find a way to keep the people? Mm -hmm. um, you make it part of your budget. Um, maybe you end up putting something else that didn't work or no longer is needed or something. So um, it, if there's really an issue that part of it is still funded on grants, then we have to be transparent about it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but also knowing the context is that we're growing, <laughs> we're going to be needing the staff. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, even at three full time people, we might still be understaffed. Right. Um, so I guess I'm not long term worried about myself, mm -hmm. but I do understand completely the worry of, oh, it's grant funded. Now we have mm -hmm. to pay for it because of it. Well, right. we only have to pay for it if it's something we value. Right. And we want to work, end, continue. Right. And, Does he need, and, oh, sorry. He may, he, I mean, we have to be transparent with him, but this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. But we also uh, say, you know, give him the feedback. If we think you're doing great, and here's the you know, when it comes to the end, this is how the judgment's going to be. It's going to be a decision among things. And, you know, if he's very valuable, then you, know, his, find you find a way to make it work, and it's something else that gets cut. What was your question? Does he need benefits if he no. goes to 30? No. Or even if he wants to 40 or Nope. So? Okay. Uh. So Chris, so myself, I don't need them right now at this point in time. Chris doesn't need them, and Tom does not need them either. I mean, like, I he think has to his spouse or something. all three of us do. And um, I think, you know, maybe uh, life insurance, but that's a minimal cost. Right. If anybody yeah. were to take that. Absolutely. It's I think Brenda and I were talking about just certain cost things like $60. Right. But the, the kicker is right now is we have this money in the budget for the hybrid programming where I specifically have the benefits and the hourly rate in there. So between the formula fund and the digital literacy grant or the hybrid grant, yeah. I can pay for him through the end of this coming fiscal year of 25. Plus we'll have the the leftover funds from the carry forward money and the um the the rent that we would have paid. So my thing is is that if we do this for the year we yeah. have all the data collected. Yeah. I can go forward for 26 plus for 26. I, I can't believe I'm saying this 26 already. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I can also apply for mass dot has the potential for facilitating 50% of, of um, transportation services. Mm -hmm. So that could go towards funding Chris where, you know, we could potentially use some money that's normal that right now is being paid for a formula fund for Chris mm -hmm. to pay for more of Tom. But, you know, I think it's important to, um, you know, people saw the value in what we were able to provide with services by increasing Chris's hours. Oh, um, you know, yeah. the amount of services and support in the community. Right. Um, so we could give more time to Chris to do that part of his job instead of supporting programs. Mm -hmm. Cause that's basically what's happening now is when I'm unavailable, Chris is the backup person yeah. for that. So it pulls him away from being able to be more available. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I don't know, is that something we could do for this year? Well, I think it seems like we have the funds to, to do this year yep. and then evaluate, right? Yeah. Let's evaluate six mm. months or whatever and see how is it working? Are we going to have the funding next year? What do we need to advocate for? Yeah, yeah. because we could always, you know, I mean, I know that um, the, our legislators, you know, aren't always able to do earmarks and other things, mm -hmm. but they can also advocate for an increase in certain things in the budget, um, you know, to help yeah, because of these grant programs are funded. Yes, right. exactly. exactly. And that's how um, one of the things to share is if the 
like I shared, the governor's office through MCOA's push and the legislature's push to get our um, funded for older adults to 15 per person instead yeah. of the, mm -hmm. it had been 12 and the 14, and now if it yeah. goes up to 15 per person, mm -hmm. that makes a huge difference. Yeah. Um, so, and I've been really good at learning how to be conservative with, with purchases. Right. Um, I use grant funds. Um, you know, we're probably going to have some calendar raffles or yeah. some other things, Those but yeah, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, but I would really like to be able to utilize it, especially why we have it in the grant money for this year. Um, because yeah. The hybrid grant in the digital literacy one and one ends at the end of February and one ends at the end of March. And how is the um, people getting their iPads and their oh, their, that's going that, great. Is that really going? I mean, oh, be like I literally have more money left over in the digital literacy grant because I thought we were going to get more requests for stipend reimbursement, meaning um, internet reimbursement. Mm -hmm. More people were interested in getting an iPad. So yeah. I think there's enough money in there where I'm going to go back to the grant um, folks and modify it where we can use that money instead of just supporting the stipend reimbursement to being able to order some more iPads Yeah, um, I mean, to do another lottery. Seats, oh, they love it. it. You know, in touch with their family or in touch with the, this yeah. program or so I think it's a great be idea. Between hybrid programming, between family, between Oh, they're also starting to use it for medical appointments, which right. is one of yes, the big a lot pieces. Of people are doing that um, that. So we're, I think it's already on. You just got to slide the top over. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Uh, this thing? Yep, you got yeah, it. Good. It's on. Yeah. All right. Um, so, and then you just got to plug in the HDMI cord. Ooh. Um. So can we, can you someone, so is it possible for a vote to happen today to increase Tom's hours until the end of fiscal year 25 and we could evaluate at that point in time for 26. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll second that one. Okay. Uh, is there any further discussion? You're saying raised to 30. 30 or 35, or 35. whichever. Yeah, which one, yeah, which 35 one? would be fabulous, but I- is, is that affordable? Yes. Yeah, and let's evaluate 30 again. 30 and then we evaluate it. Um, in six months, maybe. Let's do it in six interim. months and see what see how see how it's working, and then look at the then, funding part of it again for twenty six. Yeah. But at the end potentially, of the year. potentially, this could go through the whole year, right? Um, with uh, just report back to us how it's going in December. Yeah, great. What, what the benefits are yeah. for sure, and yep. so we okay. can talk to finance committee and say, yes, we did this. However, look at what we're doing, what yep. we're able to provide. Yeah. Okay. Great. How it's free. Not so thirty five hours then. Thirty five hours then. Okay. Uh, all those in favor. All right. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Hi. Thank you okay. so much. Very good. All right. Well, that's smaller than I was thinking. <laughs> no, it, it could. Yeah, it, I think there's a. Uh, yeah, there's a. Oh, back, oh wait, sorry, wrong. Back back back. Back. <laughs> that's wow. the turning. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Usually it comes up pretty. Oh, you know what? It's your screen isn't. As oh, it's not yeah. For me, see what I can do from over here. Recycle. Um, in the back corner, okay. you'll see the blue bin on the right. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We're moving back to help until we get it across, and then we'll be good. Okay. Let's go over here. Well, I'm close. Yeah, I don't know. Full screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh no. Uh, they said, I don't know. It said I was muted. I wasn't muted before. I hope it didn't mute this whole meeting. Well, there's a microphone on the uh, on the app. Okay. So the owl should have it as well. Yes. But that just means your computer might refuse it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. We'll pick that so, up again. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I wasn't sure what the municipal agreement they were referring to. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh, I no. Oh, well, I do have. I they... do have a file folder on all the stuff that Julie Moreno sent but over to the, me. Um, that was when they all kind of came together and right made their right. you know because then it seems like the powers were the select board of shelburne after consultation with the select boards of the member towns may delegate in whole or part responsibility so it seems like they built this thing and then and then shelburne turned yeah. it over so they yeah. have the they have some different uh, documents here that oh. they had given um but, oh, I, is it in that same but I, but I, it's yeah, the same folder that I had sent over before. Um, mm -hmm. it's well, they've got a 2018 recommendation letter regarding phase one consortium agreement. They've got an aging in uh, West Franklin. Um, that was a study I think done. Uh, BOS. Buckland, yeah, Shelburne. Shelburne, just to invite somebody, and then um. Consortium that, agreement yeah, for 2019. I think that's what Joyce has. Yeah, on that's screen. what she has up. So Hers, yeah, yeah. So I don't think I don't think I have anything else. Possible membership options, and then a consortium memo. Right. So that's what I got. Um, so and that was from UMass Boston. Um, that oh that was their that was their cost analysis to obtain input yeah. from the senior population. So what did we Okay. So I anyway, I, I just wasn't sure what that intermediate mm -hmm. agreement was yep. that uh that it was referring to. And that doesn't mean you can't move forward. Um so but it had to do with the position of the director. So I wonder if there's just an intermunicipal agreement about how you select the director. Right. And right. we may be able to come up with one of those ourselves, given mm -hmm. How we have found the, uh, but there was, it's, yeah, for me, there was other uh, information here about how we do the hiring of the director. And I thought there was something. Let me had, go through and ours seem something. to be, yeah. seem to be pretty, you know, we yeah. create something and then we have the three select, the three. Right. So, so let's, uh, okay, yeah. Maybe yeah. remember to, to circle yeah. back to that. Sure. Um, now for composition, um, they had, just Council on Aging folks from each member town. Right. I changed to two Council on Aging and one select board member mm -hmm. or their designee. Yes. I because think that makes the future, sense. Yeah, we could be, like, it be. At some point, it doesn't I, have to be. The yeah, right, right, right. It might, it might be time for me to retire from the select board at some point, but I could still be. A, uh, exactly. Uh, I could still be a uh, board member. Absolutely. Because yeah. uh, our boards are already pretty burdened. Which we've done that with sketch. I mean, that's. Generally. And to that, same and way to do. Used to Tom stays on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so that's um, that's all I changed. There, here I put a link to the Mass General Law. It just talks about what the state requires when you're filling a vacancy. Got it. Uh, Got it. And it's all standard. Um, chairperson, vice chairperson, secretary, treasurer, and assistant. It seems to be. More is that like what need. are those roles? How so, are those roles done right now? Well, right, uh, it's not, right we don't now, have that. We don't have any of that no, because the we town don't. of Deerfield is the fiscal agent. So uh -huh. our our accountant does all of that. So our, does it specify that this is this did this become a five hundred one c three that's funded by the town? I don't think it's a five hundred one c three. Yeah, I don't necessarily understand exactly what that means, other than it's an entity that is allowed to own property. Yeah. So it would it would be a different kind of and you still have a fiscal agent. Right. In in this. Yeah. So I guess my question is how is this? I mean, I can understand if the town is a fiscal agent, you might be the board with a chair, mm -hmm. a vice chair, and a secretary. Yes, exactly. Um, but I didn't quite get the treasurer. So I feel like this is something I think it's to true. look into. Like yeah. somehow a lot of is this person actually just 
a person who goes and looks over the books that the town is keeping? Is that I, I almost feel like this entity, does this entity still have a fiscal agent? It yes. seems oh it does. Yes, the, that's interesting. Uh, uh, Shelburne yeah. is the this place. The Select board of Shelburne, yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Well that's that's weird. And uh yeah, so that's um so so I don't think you to me. This is a this is a question and this is and really I would almost put like fiscal agent next to that. Well, well, yeah, yeah. No, fiscal it's, agent. It's, it's a fiscal agent. Right. Um. So there's that. Yeah. Um. So and then I just replaced I'm putting in host town because I think if we put Correct. in a town name, right, that either that town will either be scared or. Or the other town will be scared. And it was scary. Exactly. No, that, I think that's scary. really good. We, we should, we should, because I think being a host town is a burden of some sort. Sure. Sometimes it's a uh, burden that a town is welcome yeah. to. Yeah. They're right. fiscally here for a lot of things, and it's kind of like, hey, yeah. that's, that's in our wheelhouse. Sure. So, sure. Um, so that's, um, that's funny. Um, so I said instead of the COA chairperson of each town, because in our towns, our COAs are very loosely bound. Absolutely. Um, just each town's representatives yes. on the board. So the three, presumably, from each town yep. um, to update their respective towns. So. You know, one of the things that I would like to see more of is, is the COAs actually engage. Right. Um, you know, they, I know Wheatley has been active getting together to send out like birthday cards to people in the community. Mm -hmm. And then they put in a, um, like a card or something about the senior center from what Catherine and, and Marianne had shared with me. Yeah, um, yeah. Sunderland's isn't very active. And while Deerfield has a lot of members who do come, mm -hmm. they don't meet. They're not like a, and, right. yeah. Yeah, they don't meet like a regular yeah. board. Yeah. And the, That's why this might draw them in. You know, so. Yeah. So, yeah, it, I think the council agent is convenient because it's um, an issue that exists in the town. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a group that is, I believe, and I didn't even check this, I believe they're appointed by the select board. They are. And Because uh, I remember appointing people to the council on aging. Um, we, we, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, anybody who volunteers, Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, for but, sure. But the other thing on the COAs is I know um, Deerfields, there's a few members of the COA who don't come to center at mm -hmm. all. I don't, I, I just did appointments last week. I don't remember appointing anybody to the COA. Because there's no termination date. Yeah, the, the ones we do with the energy and those are the one year terms. Uh, there oh. tends to be. And there's no debt. There's no date. There's no end date. So they're on there forever. Yeah. All right. So that we need to change. Yeah. yeah. Change yeah, that. Yeah. Roll them over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. But, but I think so, like the COAs have to uh, are sort of the, the natural structure for each town having input. Yes. And, Which is important. And, they, and the council on ages, I don't think they're looking for a lot of other things to do. Right. 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 Like right. birthday cards is something we can do. Yeah. It's not very senior center. And way yeah, in here. It's not like we're going right. to ask you to do it. Yeah. Hey, it's something we can kind of do. It's, mm -hmm. They have a yeah. very small budget. Yeah. Um, And I think the 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 three that I, the two that I talked to, I talked to two of the three mm -hmm. uh, people on wait lists, um, they're very, they're pretty happy with yeah. how the senior center is right. is going in there. They're like, well, are we redundant? And I'm like, oh, no, you're not. No, redundant. no, it's no. important uh, that yeah, they exactly. have a say. That, that, uh, and, and so I had bounced off of them the idea that, well, you know, would you like to have a little more say mm -hmm. in things if we were to restructure the board of oversight and become a board of directors? Mm -hmm. um, and they weren't, they didn't like run screening. Well, they weren't right. phones. So. <laughs> did happen. They um, didn't hang up on you. Yeah, they didn't hang up on me. Um, and uh, they didn't shriek with joy. Right. They didn't look at me like, oh, I'll do another meeting. Right. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I, I said, I think we're just at the point where we need more uh, input mm -hmm. at the, in the leadership level. Yeah. Um, and it also translates into support for our director, yeah. our, our actual director. Yes. Um, yeah. So I, I think that's. To me, that's one of the reasons to go for this kind of structure. Mm -hmm. uh, I might entice folks who use the center frequently if they use the CRA and have a say in how things go. 
Yeah. And the capital money <laughs> can do yeah. like town specific projects mm -hmm. and if they want to, mm -hmm. or not if they don't. Right. right. Yep. That's uh so um there we go. So uh with this, since there's three towns, the uh, quorum starts to consist of five members. Uh, and at least one from each town present and vote. Mm -hmm. um, and I think here we should be generous with the word present. You can be present on Zoom. Sure. Still counts as being present. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In the meeting. Um, the liaisons here, I thought that whole section for this. Right? Yeah. I don't think we need. Well, probably not more. Or, like it might have been for these towns that they had five or six people from each town right. to be involved. Yeah. And yeah. this We're structure was only going to be three of the, them decision making. The only thing that I want to bring to your attention is looking through all the records because I found uh what what was it called? Frontier Senior Frontier. Center before <laughs> there was a, a consortium agreement then type of a deal or different mm -hmm. documents that they called that. And um, there were different times where the tried where COA members or members tried to oust the entire um, director for the senior center uh -huh. and make well, it a volunteer position well, and some other things, and that's why this the board of oversight happened yeah. because yeah, there was some so while I think it's important that people have an opportunity to give their input, don't give. I think however the power structure is should be just careful in that mm -hmm. because not it's that I history. Yeah. And I can give you the file to take home and I was looking through it and I was like, wow. Yeah. And it yeah. was it was yeah. not a great yeah, situation. It was it was ugly. Yeah, control I wasn't of around at that no, point, but, but control of money. Yeah. It was Tom and John had mentioned control of you know, they literally were locking people out of spaces. Um, mm -hmm. They had control of money and weren't giving it for well, the purpose. The oh, I'm talking it. about like yeah. the whole structure. So the, yeah. I'm just talking about the whole structure in general. Sorry. So, so this would give each town. And what are the bylaws? We don't have bylaws from them, to my knowledge. So in this but, document, uh, right? This document is not. Okay. Right. right. So um, we th those we would presumably have to come up with ourselves. Yep. Yeah. Um, but uh, if we, I, I don't know. I can email Julie and ask her if they have some. If they have that. Yeah. Uh, like right now, we don't have balance, right? Mm -hmm. We're no. Just no, it's just that agreement. that yep. intermunicipal agreement. Yep. That's yeah. right. Um, and then, and I think a lot of things that bylaws might be used for are covered in that. Um, you know, the rules for, you know, hiring and fiscal when that's needed and so on are all yeah. those according to the bylaws of the in there? post 10. So I was looking at the, uh, there was the, let's see, the board of directors shall be an advisory board comprised of three council of aging oh, members yeah. from it's each B. member town. Oh, did I go too far? No, you're fine. Oh, okay. This is where we're at. Right, right, yeah. Um, and shall select representatives that sit on the board of senior center and may designate alternate board members um, who may vote at any given meeting up to the three maximum eligible to vote. So your concern is that somehow the COAs usurp power from the, like the boo yeah. right now. It's really us three that have yes. the power at the moment. It protects well, this, you this in a way. Too. Yes. And you're worried about possibly I just don't, I want them to have less power than the select board members in some way. Does that make sense? Well, the way to really do that. Because I don't have, because I don't have a, one counts on eight you know, for me, I don't have, you know, I, I have a job and I'm fine with having a job for that. I don't have a say because okay. I am not a voting person and I am, and I'm, so I'm not, so. I yeah. yeah, ex officio is what it would be. Sorry, I'm tired okay. today. I couldn't think of the big word. <laughs> okay. No, I'm um, finally learning these things. I've had people so, say to me, I'm like, yeah, I do have a degree be, with this. But no, I don't know what that means. Maybe the board's small. So yeah. there's a member from the Council on Aging. There's 
I, I like to have the board be smaller. Nine mm -hmm. is a little unwieldy. It is. So you, yeah, it's hard to get um, quorum. And it's a uh, and then, we and then look you have to have a quorum all the time too. So if well, not, someone doesn't show up from five to something. Else. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a five and at least one from each town. There you we go. Six members. Yeah, six members. No, we have, no, we have six. Then we make the. Is it three? Yeah. We can make the quorum. Then we can we can make that number whatever we want. Correct. Yeah. We make it three. And it means and half of the board has. And at least there. one member from each town must be there. there. Yep. So it could be a case where it's, it's three COAs. <laughs> well, no, you would have, so that way, so the way that that's written, if you have, make it mandatory for one person from each town, it makes it so that like um, you're, you're from Sunderland, it makes it so Sunderland can ma make all the changes for the entire board. You have to have somebody from each. But yeah. what you're saying is like three CO well, members, three, so as long as they're one from each town. town. We have a call from reading. Right, be... but it wouldn't be one town, it would be the whole, right. yeah. <laughs> There's only two members from each town. Right. Right. No, but it does say of the board, so three members of the board yeah. without yeah. anybody and make it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's what that says. Okay. So yeah. should we change Wait. that? If you want, you want the board, you want the board selected with and more control. Which, well, because you can't have cast people. Right. Right. And uh, not yeah, to get to the selectmen. Well, it's advisory. So, right. Right. Yeah. right. Because in the end, it's the each town's. Select board and finance committee will ultimately make the, the, right. the, the decisions. That's true. But if, so if we're maybe, as long as they don't have the power to hire and fire me, I'm good with that. <laughs> well, um, uh, you have an executive council. Well, I, so here, like if what if one town wanted to, I mean, it could be there's a meeting where none of the select board members. Right. Um, yeah. And, Three members of council on aging from three different towns. Yeah, that's what Dan was saying. They could they could make the decision. Yeah, right? yes, but it wouldn't be a cabal from one town. Right, right. and it, and it would still then need. Well, I guess no. Would this eventually go back to? I mean, the, do, is would in this? So that, yeah, so would, they, is Deerfield still the hiring and firing authority or right. not? We have to yeah we have let's to get to that. To okay, yeah, okay. wondered about that. Okay. So um okay, so yeah, the liaisons, liaisons we could ditch, I, I think. Um yeah, get yeah, rid of that. It just seemed like it was an extra way to get more input. Okay. Right. Um and so uh this we can is do that in other ways, um, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because I think I think the other thing too is like, you know, with the um with giving out the i or with giving out the iPads and things like that, you know, people have the ability to um, you know, to to try. So I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so six months. This is it. What you know, the she's getting. Is that right? Mm -hmm. you open the 55 year old Yeah, 55. So, the, I am 55. So the only thing is, is <laughs> that's what I was trying to avoid. Trying to get her to go. No, don't she invite you. That's right. He keeps teasing her. I will um, Yeah, so we're thinking about 50, this oh. So the only thing is, is that, um, for, so I already accept people 55 and oh. under. The only thing is, it's for certain things, like for the grant that we just did for the digital literacy, it's own, it has to be 60 and over the way that the funding is. So that's, you know, that's what we do for the requirements. But for most of the funding, it's, it's broad based because I get money from the town. Right. Or the other stuff, don't you do it, Trevor? I think that's covered by this. Yes. Or others for the participation oh, policy. So we can have a policy yeah. that uh, that younger are welcome as well. Yep. And and, uh, and with and there, the information is also given that some of our some things are are specifically for sixty and over. Yep. But there are also one of the things that we do. Um, it's not a written policy. But anyone who has a disability who's under the age of 55 is also welcome. So that way, if someone needs support of any kind or, you know, um, we we have we have a senior who has a disabled son, you know, adult child uh, who's under 55 who comes to program and stuff. So we're open to everyone, yeah. you know, within good. the capacity. Yep. So, so um, it would be probably good to have a participation policy in writing. 
Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to get her to jump at you. Um, so uh, this second one says just what Jen was referring to. Yep. Uh, Non-member towns. We do this have. This is all identical verbiage. Yep, pretty much what we already do. Um, and then uh, and this is, with the one exception, additional fees. Out of town folks may be paying six dollars for the yoga where everybody else pays fine or whatever. Well, right now, so that's something I, I you know, at some point I want to discuss with all of you. Um, because when I started here, uh, one of the conversations I had with existing staff and some of the mm -hmm. seniors were people don't want to pay money for anything. Yeah. Some people go to other centers and they talk about paying 50 cents for a cup to get water out of the bubbler mm. or, you know, a dollar for the soap or what, whatever the cost is yeah. and for the exercise classes and stuff. I've been able to keep it where it's not as expensive. What is that? That's a s'mores thing. <sighs> Anyways, I might. Yes, please. Thank you. So to keep one of those little um from uh, leo's table oh okay that's all right jen howard has given us her time and money and she's product amazing. she's a wonderful awesome. community awesome. person mm -hmm. great food um unabashed plug so <laughs> i'm wondering if we need to start charging for certain things i don't want to because people do give donations for the gift fund mm -hmm. and that you know, that's where I take all the money from to pay for things, you know, and I try to keep the gift funded a certain amount, but we go under that sometimes because I try to, you know, like the, for certain things for the picnic or whatever. Uh, so it's hard to. So what would you charge for? People charge for water. No. People charge for food. I don't want to do that. No. No. But what about the, um, what about the classes? Well, do you charge? You don't charge for classes. Um. So right now everything's funded through grants because right. we've been getting grants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, once the grant and any donations made to support those classes because they have a donation policy. Mm -hmm. Um. When we did the grant, so I put that out from Life Path. Um. One of the things that we do is we accept donations. So I go back through the gift fund. I total up the amount of money we received specific for that class. And then I pay for it while after we run out of grant money. Mm -hmm. So um, there will be. The right. So there's no guarantee, for example, right now, um, I think it's due by July 19th for the Life Path grants for the 6,000 for the enhanced fitness and the 3,000 mm -hmm. for the chair yoga. There's no guarantee we're going to get those. So at that point, I will, I'm going to have to charge if they want right. to keep to do, take sense. the class. Mm -hmm. So it's breaking it down cost analysis per event or mm -hmm. per class, you know, cause sometimes we'll charge, um, a couple dollars. Like we did an ice cream social just to yeah. have offset the cost right. of the ice cream, you know, in the, and the obviously if somebody's in need, right. You just you know, well, yeah. don't charge. It, nope. right. No. And I don't, and you know, I don't publicly right. announce that, right. but exactly. I do kind of have an idea as to who is yeah, not who's part struggling. of it. Yeah, yeah. So. absolutely. Excellent. Hmm. You just play it by ear, I think, really. I mean, if it if you have the grant money, great. If you don't, then you need to if people enjoy it and want to pay for it. That's what keeps us all going. Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise I'd have to cancel the class if I can't. Right. Because it's not in my budget. Right. I've been really good at getting grants. Yeah. Yeah. To not right. have to spend the we've money noticed. on the budget. Yeah, we've noticed that that's what we've we've noticed. Three, <laughs> we've gotten three, over three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Great. So yeah. don't worry, I'm keeping track on time. I got it. Yep. So. Okay. So that's okay. probably a policy thing we're not going to settle today. Nope. Right. We'll work that's on that. Thank you for bringing yep. it to our attention. Can you make a note to talk about it later on the side or or se create a separate one or or just later? Uh, yeah, let's just put it in the, in the meeting. Now. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. Um, all right. So the personnel. Yeah. Uh, post towns, personnel policies cover that person. Okay. okay. Yep. Um, a this would uh, this agreement would say we have monthly meetings, 
But yeah. now I think we don't necessarily have monthly meetings. Right. No. Right. Quarterly, and then we do and then we uh, fill needed. Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the annual report, I think we already do that. Yes. Um, director vacancy. Okay, here we go. We'll take a closer look at this. Okay. The search committee comprised of one COA member from each member town and one select board member from yeah. each member town for their designee. So it's... Yeah. And, uh, I do, I feel like in our uh, agreement right now, where we have the um, town administrators from each three towns, was very yeah. valuable in a certain uh -huh. committee. If we could add yeah. that, yeah. Uh, because they come with just a wealth of knowledge and and they're and they're, and they're here all day and they they know what yes. they know the policy and the the laws yeah. and all that, mm -hmm. and they can get stuff done. I think so, that's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yep. Just take out the F at the end of members. Yep. Members. Yep. Members. You don't, you don't put the F on the side <laughs> of F on the end of members. You can, but you know. Okay. So then select one additional member at large. Okay. So then they pick somebody else. Um, yep. Yeah. So you okay and I, that's left purposely vague I think. yeah uh so that you can yep uh grab somebody that you, you, think could, grab, you could grab enough like um staff members. right exactly could, uh, yes a lot of time. so when i leave just kidding <laughs> right you can you can grab chris or tom and pull them into the yeah because they have to work with them every day too sure. so they may have some input they have the everyday experience and knowledge, and knowledge. yeah you have them yeah. One of our uh, former, uh, someone who, well, actually, someone who would be working for our town administrator on the committee vetting all the, uh -huh. all the residents. That's great. That's and great. That, that was, they found to be done. Yeah. Actually, two people. That, that's were, great. Were, were people who were working Yeah. To. Okay. Um, so present its recommendations for the final. Is, and I just said, leave it. <laughs> right, right. Because um, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what you're going to get. Yep. To the and host it's, if possible, pre finalists, it's not adding anything. Right. Um, no. To the host town select. Yep. And no they way. make the final hiring decision. So based you, on the recommendation you, of yeah. that search committee. Right. right. Do so, you want to say based on the recommendation? Because um, you don't want them, well, they're going to make it anyway. They, yeah. They, they could they, they could just pick someone else the if they wanted to. Uh, so here we're, we're, we're sort of just trusting each other. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yeah. And, we do. Um, and we then do. It's, and generally, that's the that case. Guess, then none of this is going to work. I nope. mean, as it is now, we would the Deerfield would never hire somebody that the Boo didn't want. Right. Yeah. There's just no way. Yeah. But, um, well, then I'm grateful to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, director Senior Center of the Host Town. Employees of the Host Town. Yep. Um, Similar situated. You take out Shelburne. Oh. She's staring at you. Staring at the muffin. Yeah, you want the muffin, don't you? You want to eat my snacky? Oh, yeah. You either eat my like, hand or the muffin. She had snackies when she got here. Yeah. She has. So, recommend candidates for hire the host panels, select boards, or final hiring. This one is hiring. Technically, it's the board of overs. The board doesn't right. really have yes, any she does. role in recommending who you hire. Okay. Um, vote. We support. Yeah. Let me just read it over. Sorry. We, we do have a yep. role in hiring you. You recommend the candidates yep. for yep. full time, part time staff. Because yep. I think the way we did it when I hired uh, when I hired Chris and Tom. Um, I did it with the uh, Deerfield town administrator mm -hmm. or assistant town administrator. It's like three of us in there at least. Yeah. And I think the other time we, yeah, it was just the Deerfield town administrator and myself for right. the first one. Yeah. So. And then, so, the, so this is saying the board, which is now down to six people, doesn't tell you who to hire. You right. are responsible for that. And Great. That, that makes me happy. That, and then, uh, of course, the final oversight is the um, host town, host yep. town select board does appointments like that. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. important because you don't want, I mean, you know, like I may be yeah. making so good choices now, but who knows? 
Yes. What is that? Great. Okay. Um, complaint issues regarding personnel. It goes to that host town. That's one of the burdens that the host town has. Yep. Um, and sorry, Paige, you didn't. I tried it. to delete it on the version there just to see. It I wouldn't think, erase it either. Yeah. So, yeah. It was deleting the words from with at the end of the upper sentence. Right. Um, right. So, again, personal policies. Okay. Post 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 down. Yeah. Uh, complaints about programming operations not related to personnel. Uh, these are under the board's jurisdiction, it seems. Um, there's a complaint. To resolve the, that under. Now, this one, uh, the liaisons that we don't have them are not there to different events or other matters under the board director, meaning you, yeah, you know, uh, shall have the authority to resolve the matter. Mm -hmm. So Separate. that means the board, board, the board and the director can resolve the matter, right? So if they, so my only concern is, for example, we did have sexual health that was done um a complaint was made to one of the boo members boo member felt it was a relevant topic to be discussing and um so you know i mean they get the complaint but would that be like if someone said i don't like your fine arts class it's a waste of taxpayer money blah blah could the board then decide we're no longer offering it versus I think you would have to bring that that to the board okay no i'm saying like if they went to the board and oh, complained okay. and the board decides that they don't think we should be offering a class just because or well, that uh whether we offer a class or not is that under the jurisdiction of the board that's what i'm asking I, it it may well be okay um that would be under the bylaws has to be like really for us to, i mean if the director yeah. wants to do a class it would have to be really kind of way out there for the board to kind of go, no, we don't think you're going to do like that. You're, like, you don't like that class? Especially when it gets into that class. topic of sexual health, right? Some yeah. people might find it really uncomfortable. and But maybe yeah. we just say, okay, so modify the class that it's, that it's invite only and it's at a specific time or whatever. You know, yeah. so it wasn't like, hey, middle of lunch, we're going to talk about Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. we have sexual health right now. Yeah. Um, so just right. yeah, so some... I, yeah, I think it's, I, sorry, I to keep my comments to <laughs> um, operations, okay, events, other things that are under the jurisdiction of the board. Yep, that the board, the director, well, I suppose I would say the board and the director, yeah, if we're strapping liaisons, yes, yes, strapping liaisons, um, the board, and um, yeah, and that may, and makes it a little less confusing with the yes. What we do. Right. Yep. All right. It doesn't yep. like you today. Uh well it, it just it does the um uh like it's deleted the paragraph mark, but it yep. leaves the paragraph mark thing. Okay. Right. So if I were right. to go through and just accept the change, it'll it fix, would it up. fix it. That's Got fine. It. Um, two categories, capital and operating. Capital so this is really yeah. where it gets in the. I don't know. Do you, so do you want to tackle yeah, this next so, meeting, or do you want to talk? Yeah, about, yeah, yeah. Because it's eleven twenty-two. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. I think the to me the basic um the summary is they sort of put off specifying how you would buy a property. Right. They put that. They punted that, and uh, probably purposefully so because I think you don't want to tie people's hands on yeah. it. Because right. you don't know what kind of real estate is going to be there. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, for the for the Oxford, uh, there's actually a very relevant um, portion there. Like, oh, if you were to uh, receive rents, all of that rent money has to go into the capital uh, savings account. Uh, now you can't yeah. use it to offset operational. Rent. Right, right. Um, whether that's something you'd want to keep. Right. Um, but if, if you were to get a place like that where that rent could really offset your operating costs. Yeah. And you'd want to be able to make your them so that maybe that could happen. Right. Um, it, I, it, I think that's the reason. Uh, yeah. It's a that good reason. Sense. It's not a, 
oh, we're trying to hide the secret cabal power right, that we've right. gotten from this. Yeah. Um, but what it means, I think, is that one time, if, if say we had this agreement and we were saying, well, let's see if the senior center could buy the Oscar. Right. It's a big what if. Sure. If sure. Anybody listening here. Right. I'm not suggesting that that's what's going to happen. It's a hypothetical happen. question. <laughs> it's yeah. a hypothetical. Yeah. Um, then we'd be free to look at, well, what can we get for a loan? Yeah. How much, if there's no rent to anybody else, how much would we have to uh, assess each town right. for that loan? And the loan comes out in our name. Yeah. Um, it, it, it takes that burden off of you know, the host community. Right. Yep. Um, yep. So... And I, and I don't know if we'll end up in a building of our own, that right. we own and if right. it's going to be big enough to rent out anything to other people. Right. Um, but that's an opportunity we weren't be able to, we wouldn't even be able to look into if it wasn't under our current Correct. municipal agreement. Yep. Correct. So this part is really important. Yeah. But I think we need to have an answer to the question of, sure. like, well, like, uh, let's see. Um, this uh, capital costs will not be incurred without an addendum to this agreement. And I wrote that's got to be some addendum, but yeah. <laughs> the addendum would be kind of tailored to each one. So let's do another, for instance. Sure. What if we were to say, we're going to sink a lot of money into that shell over in Waitley at Fort mm -hmm. Sandy Lane? Yeah. Right? Well, clearly, if something, you know, 10 or 20 years down the line, then we move somewhere else. Waitley benefits tremendously. Sure. So maybe we want an agreement that reflects it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, right. That it's not just a bunch of other towns sinking money into Waitley and right. uh, we get this great place. Yeah, and five right? minutes from now we move to something else. Yeah. And five minutes later we move somewhere yeah. else. Right. Yep. Yeah. So you you want you'd want to be able to for because capital things have such variation. They do. They really um, do. So if we come up with three examples that Reflect something in the three downs. <laughs> yeah, that benefit. Like the, we're the church having that. that yeah, yeah. we're church. having that flexibility to tailor an agreement that everybody's going to like. Right, that everybody gets something in. They understand. Um, yeah, that that's what that addendum is, and I don't want to specify what the addendum is. Right, a project I don't know anything about. Exactly, no. it's so um, that complex you can, depending yeah, on which and, and, tailor made, like you said. Right. Yeah. And I think having select board members on the board is critical. For yes, that, for sure. Right? For I think, sure. Uh, I think that uh, that it, you know, changing the composition to being a select board member or their designee and a council and aging member, I think that gets us the extra input we want. And, yeah. But it also um, gives us the credibility that we can say, look, this addendum <laughs> yes. is something we're going to want to write when we know what it is we're buying. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Because you don't want to commit to something before you have any idea what's going right. on. Right. Right. Um, and then I think, you know, when you do purchase a, if and when our own space is purchased, regardless of who purchases it, yeah. there needs to be a big budget for maintenance because that's what happened at the old space. It was it just, it right. just didn't get fixed. Right. You know, and yeah. we need to prevent that from happening yeah. again. And whatever Agreed. the space is, the appropriate amount for maintenance. Is yeah. Different. Yeah. It's and I don't know if ma maintenance is not a capital cost or if that's in your operating cost. I think. It, for most, so yeah, like. That it, building was all messed up because of the original, like Deerfield assumed we would do all the capital um, except for like the mowing and that kind of thing. I don't yeah. know if it's in the original. But unfortunately, like, it's you know, I found great. reports going back a long time showing that the building just oh, degraded yeah, and, and they did and, nothing with it and you know there was nothing there was nothing done and yeah. it's really unfortunate yeah okay. well maybe this is probably a good yeah. place to stop i feel like yes the next yeah. step might be uh whenever our next meeting is mm -hmm. there's not that much there's not yeah. that many pages left right and it's much more boilerplate right from this part forward yep um, although there are, as you can see, yeah. So, um, if you have time, you take a look and okay, put your comments in. Sure, I feel like it's not an unreasonable thing to want our next step after we're done with it to be 
hand this over to some town administrators. Say, right. Town administrators, what do you think about this? Yes. Yeah, get I, really get I, feedback. Give yeah. It yeah. And yeah. have them and give input. Like, you, have, you have like six town administrators, right? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. We lost Chris. Yeah, we, have, we, lost, we lost one of your Chris's. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I know. I know. So I know. Good. He went to he Montague. Went to Montague. Montague. Yeah, I can't compete with 80% insurance. $10,000. Yeah. yeah. Increase. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, he, he was wonderful. And I'm so proud of him and his ability to kind of move on and, and, and grow in his career for Thank sure. Um, someday, hopefully, he'll come back. Yeah. Do you want to pick a date? Sure. Sure. Uh, do we want to do another Saturday? Or we want to find um, Saturdays if people are good. I as know. long as it's not a warrant date due. Yeah, you you pick it then. I'm, uh, I mean, it's up to you. I can yeah, do another thing too, but I'm officially wiped out by the end of the day. No, I understand. Yeah, yeah, we, we could do the third, the seventeenth. Saturdays. I'm looking at August. No, yeah. no dates in July. I'm sorry. I yeah, would like no, those Saturdays yeah. off. No, I think yep. I, I think we we take July off. Yeah, for okay. sure. And then, you know, while I know all of you are very busy with your full-time jobs as well as other boards and stuff other than your select board and this, please take the time and look through and, you know, come up with ideas and, and feedback. Yeah. Um, you should all have editing capability. Yeah, if you go, yeah, if you go on there in their, um, the upper corner, there's plain old editing. Then there's the next choice is uh, show edits as comments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you do that, then it'll do like I was. Yeah. Put a comment oh, off oh, the yeah. Great. Uh, and then and there's so you if you're sending wanna, us that yeah. document. Is that that's what I said. That's the oh, one okay, that Joyce great. sent yeah. to yeah. everybody. It was just the link right. to the document. If you yeah. if you don't, I have the um I have the link. That email. So the yeah. third, the seventeenth, or the thirty first. It would be better to do with the third or seventeenth because the thirty first is a holiday and. And you guys keep getting oh, me on school's holidays. Gonna, school's going to start soon. For yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, so, so you, you the third. third of August. Does that work for everybody, Trevor? Oh, uh, hang on. Let me just check. I'm it would have been from back. Joyce, not from Yeah. That bad. I'm going to find okay. that. Um, I don't think any emails. Because that way I can flex a day. And yeah. make it easier so I don't have to worry about payroll and yeah. 10 a.m. again. Yeah. Is that oh, work for everybody? Third. Yeah, I can do that. And the yeah. third. Put these in the freezer and bring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to last long. No, I'm sure. Uh, that little taste was good. Perfect. I didn't want any more. I don't do too much of the sugary stuff, but that was good. Okay. I do too much sugary stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't anymore. So 10 a.m. on the third. Yep. Now I'm not making any other appointments. Do we want to do this a full two hours this time? Um, I think we need not not more than two hours. No, yeah, not more than full, just a full two hours. So yeah. we we have a hard stop at twelve. Yeah. yeah, just to give us enough time. So yeah. let me just stop. The, you need to do a motion to adjourn oh, before oh. you walk away. Yeah, motion to adjourn. Uh, I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Everybody, can you lie? Aye. Aye. Thank you. All right. All right. All right.